heard uh, might likely be me. Uh, I'm the one that's receiving death threats on a regular basis from um, Christians and people that were raised as Christians that probably identify as Christians. Um, they might get your ears stomped together uh, and get bad, bad, beat up bad, real, real, real bad. Um, I also think part of the reason that uh, Reggie, as we'll call him, uh, the inmate, inmate Reggie, uh, RPJ, uh, is uh, Jamila. Jamila, you know, you win. Jamila, you're out there. Jamila, you win. You put a spell on RPJ and you win. Jamila, I just have to ask you, uh, take the stuff off of them. You win, you've shown that your black magic is real and it works. And we just would hope that in the name of forgiveness, that you find a way to help them. That you would find a way in your heart, Jamila, to help them. Um, it's the right thing to do. And I'm sure you have the right thing in your spirit and in your heart to forgive this man. Um, I honestly feel um, that, um, I mean, what can I say? RPJ was wrong the way he went after you. Constantly went after you. Um, I really do. Um, but what we have is a situation. One of the bail bondsmen said his total bail is seventeen hundred dollars. Um, what's the saying? Uh, I can show you better than I can tell you. Um, see here, if this will work. Some good for a change. But you guys think that I'm, some of you might think this is a joke that I'm playing around and nothing can be further from the truth. You got somebody who's been in jail for a month. Um, it's time to do something about it. It's time to do something about it. Um, And I'm going to be the person to try to do it, make the first step forward, you know. Um, check it over my thing. Let me see over here. Um, here we go. All right. here all right all right what I'm looking for all right here we go
Can you guys hear it? If you guys can hear this, I want you to put RPJ. Put RPJ if you can hear this clearly. I'm playing the recording from the jail in Orange County, Florida. Okay, you can hear it clearly. real he's in jail those of you didn't hear it one more again let you listen closely
correct inmate name is Regina Jones. With the birth date of July 7, 1969. Press 1. Please wait for the inmate information address. Regina Jones. His house is Spain, Virginia. This inmate was booked on February 8, 2017, and has agreed. The case number is 1700 would be returned. So here's a chance where you can do some good. You put it together. And you got to start and you got a chance uh, to put it together. Uh, no, not a crowdfunding. I wasn't going to go through a, a formal crowdfunding. This is kind of off the cuff. Uh, I just thought of something good to do for somebody. Um, and I think we probably could just send the money uh, directly to the bail bond. Or someone can collect it. Uh, and put it on their credit card. Uh, and we send the money directly to the bail bonds. It doesn't have to be a crowdfunding where we're going to have to pay excessive fees. But what we're doing is we're going to get this brother out. You know, all of us have made mistakes. None of us are perfect. Uh, we've watched RPJ. Uh, we've watched what he's gone through over in the past year. And he obviously doesn't have a support system or help or people that care about them. And I think it's about time that somebody steps up uh, and does the right thing. Once again, we have people here making death threats that identify themselves as Christians. Uh, I'm not a Christian, but I'm a human being. And I know if I were in this position, I would want to get the fuck up out of there. Now, when I called a couple of bail bondsmen, and they look it up, they had like an attitude, you know? And I'm like, dude, why are we, why do you have an attitude? You know, well, he said, well, it looks like our personality 
Is it getting on? I'm like, fuck our personalities. Our personalities don't have to get on, get together. It's in business. He said, well, why don't you go somewhere else? And then I got to thinking, we're in deep Florida, uh, which is the deep south. And the fascinating thing is, uh, you know, RPJ is as far from your typical black man and the way that he thinks and what he believes. He has, you know, he's a hardcore comedy supporter. But while he's in jail, uh, and they look him up and they see that he's black, they say, why is he in jail so long? I'm like, shit, the hell, because nobody bailed him out. And, you know, it just makes him look not as good. Now, I have a cousin. Her name is uh, Trixie. That's what we call her. That's her nickname. I'm not going to tell you her other name. I don't want her to get harassed by these these trolls. You know, trolls are out of control. Uh, do some good. So, uh, hello, it, it, Trixie, cousin, how are you? Oh, hanging in there. You know, I, I overslept. You know, I get up early uh, to do my work. And I went downstairs and I fell asleep and I woke up a half hour late. We got a small audience of about 20 people listening to us right now. And, oh, right, you know, I'll tell you what, a couple of those Bells Bonds that Montez guy, he was a jerk. Everybody, this is my cousin, Trixie. Can you guys hear okay? If you can hear okay in the chat room, can you please put up a T? I want this guy, I want him to be experienced. Trixie is a seasoned long-term bondsman uh, in the Los Angeles area, and she's a cousin of mine. But I put a T in the chat room if you can hear. Get away from the response for a second. Wow. Look, look, look. Um, you look, you know, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. Um, uh, through the grace of God, it could. Can you speak up a little bit? They're having a hard time hearing you. I don't know that they can or not, but just like almost, if you can, if you can step outside, we really want the audience to hear it from a, a bond professional, a person like yourself that has many years in the business that bonds people out on a daily basis for hundreds of thousands of dollars. And what she said was, you know, in the Los Angeles area, she bails out undocumented workers that sell. Uh, you know, that sell, that sell in low taste, that sell corn in the street, uh, undocumented workers that sell mango uh, in the street with chili peppers on them. Um, they sell salsichas, they sell salsichas con tocino en el calle. Todo el tiempo en el centro de San Luis, California. Look, he doesn't have seventeen hundred dollars. Look, I can't have you just besmirch RPJ's character. Okay, look, anybody can have a hard time, and I think you'd be. You know, that's the problem with your side of the family, Trixie. Is you guys are so fucking judgmental. You know, I appreciate you helping me, but it's, what good does it do to kick this man when he's down? He's already in jail. Okay, he's already in jail. He's he's probably suffering from withdrawal. Look, you got a question. Look, you know, you, pardon? Why doesn't anybody rescue them? That's well, you know what? You know what? I'm trying. You know. You know what? And 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 I'm sorry. You know, and I appreciate you for taking the time to even help me with this, because you don't have to help me, and I know that you're not going to make a lot of money on this. Well, to me, right. I just had some coffee. I just had some nice coffee. And I know um, 
your sister with her ugly ass. She likes coffee too. Is she still like coffee? She loves coffee. Yeah. Yeah. What a unsightly person she is. But all the looks came to you. All, all, all the looks came to you. And then, you know, here it is. She came out almost, you would think you not even have the same mother and father. Unbelievable how unfortunate looks that she is. But she's smart and she's got a very good birthday. So there's hope for her yet. There's hope, there's hope, there's hope for your get. Listen, I want to get back to the audience here. Uh, they say they're having a hard time hearing. Thank you. I may give you a call before this broadcast is over just to get your expertise. Um, the, the bondsmen, they're jerks, man. Hey, just do it this way. So I got somebody um, that said, I found a black bondsman. One guy said $2,000, $1,700 for the bail and $300 for his fee. Another guy said... You know something, let me ask you this, Trixie. Trixie, do you have do you have a YouTube account? No, I don't have a create one. You need a G you need a Gmail account and a YouTube account. And I'm on and you have the link, I sent it to you, and I can put you on the panel, then you can hear clearly. Then we can hear you clearly. Yeah, and they want to charge the fee up front. Yeah, see if you can, if you can get on the panel, because uh, we're going to get together. You know, this is a negative place, like, you know, Kazodiaz. You know, even, I, we never had this situation in Kazodiaz, but if we did, I think the people, despite all the acrimony, that they would bond together, and they would have got together to help get somebody out. Let's say facts. Uh, this can happen to anybody. And I know fraternities and sororities, they, they will stop what they're doing to help get their brother and sister out of jail. Am I right or wrong? All right, all right. All right, look, he's a piece of shit, just like he said, all right? You know, a, you know, the, you know, a heart full of judgment, I forget the fucking, the, the, the saying, I'm gonna try to do the right thing and help him and keep my blessings alive. Wow. See, see if you can get on the panel, they can hear you real clear. Thanks for your help. Let me explain the bail prices to, the, to, these, to these people in the audience, all right? All right, thank you. Yeah, that's my cousin Trixie. She works uh, downtown Los Angeles at a big bail box. She makes good money at this stuff. But I guess people are always going to jail. Here we have it. RPJ. Got arrested back in February, assaulting a police officer. Two other charges. He has three charges. He's due in court on Monday, <clears throat> the 13th. I'm in contact with a number of bail bondsmen. I had to cuss one of them out. Uh, you know, basically, I can feel the white supremacy. Uh, you know, I bet RPJ realizes that he is a nigger now. Uh, he's always called himself the God King, uh, follower of Tommy Sotomayor, the smirch degraded black women uh the lovely black woman jamila jamila it's time for you to take this spell off of rpj let that man go jamila you've proven your superiority your witchcraft is superior jamila free rpj take your evil witch cause out of this man's skin, you bitch. Jamila, we're gonna say a prayer. It's gonna wreck your spell. I'm gonna, na na, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, join hands with me, audience. Let's pray. Let's break the spell that Jamila has put on our brother RPJ. And that Rebecca, you wish ill on this man. I'm gonna, you know, not. Ah, no. I want everybody out there that's listening. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think real hard. We're gonna free RPJ. And you might think this is some bullshit because I am joking around a bit, but I'm gonna get this nigga out of jail. I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, RPJ, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm we're gonna free you, brother. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh huh, Jamila, Mamila, Jamila, uh huh, Jamila, we're going to free the man. One more time. We got now John. Been a month. I'm now. I'm now. I'm now. We're going to free our PJ. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There you have it. Now, I've been working on this. Um, being that I'm in California, um, I tried to put up some property. They're not accepting California property. I don't own any property in Florida. Um, different, uh, I guess, you know, the bail bondsman is putting up his money with the bond, and, you know, he wants to be protected. Um, this is a risky venture, um, but I think uh, RPJ is probably tired of being in there, and I think we should get together and help them. And, uh, and even if none of you help, I'm going to work and try to get it done. He has a court date on Monday. Maybe Monday they'll offer him time served and he'll get out. Maybe they'll pursue it further. But between now and Monday is Thursday. Um, I also have some good news. In calling around, I found a black bondsman. You know, we talk to talk. Let's walk the walk. Uh, you know, let's let's get RPJ out. You know, 
Help get him out. Huh. Rest in peace. Christopher Wallace, Biggie Smalls. You know, Tone Space is an amazing rapper, man. An amazing talent. You know, that he used the hit him up beat by Tupac uh, in a diss track on the day of Biggie's 20th anniversary just shows you the waywardness of the youth. You know, have no respect or no understanding of the culture. You guys might talk about people that are a tad older, but I knew that the first thing when I woke up. We've been playing, I did a show for Biggie this morning. Free RPJ, free RPJ. Black Rampage, Black Rampage, when asked, did not hesitate like so many of the people that I've contacted. You know, you guys will donate money for fuckery. You'll push a motherfucker like Cliffy Cupcake and give him donations where he's swearing to fucking kill me. You know, you motherfuckers, man, I swear to God. You know, you guys can drop people's information. You can give money to a short, stubby fucking witch who's just nothing but evil. Nothing but evil doesn't mean anybody any good. If anything, that motherfucker needs to be run the fuck up out of this sector. I don't care how much you like drama. You know, there comes a time when, hey, what good is this shit? I heard someone refer to this shit as a community. You know, this ain't no goddamn community. This is a fucking swamp. And I remember Cupcakes. He said, I'm the oldest one around here, which I'm not. But I'm one of the elders around here. And that I should be trying to stop this shit. I can't stop this shit. You niggas are gonna do whatever the fuck you wanna do. This shit was going on before I came here and it's gonna be going on before I left. But what I can do is lead by example. Come on, let's put some money together deep down inside. Let's pick up some money. We don't need that much to get him out. Now I'm, I'm in contact and I'm waiting to hear back with an associate from YouTube who's a good dude. And one of the bail bondsmen is going to allow to put up some cash with no collateral except he has to be signed for by a Central Florida resident that has a certain amount of time on the job. I know who the person is. I mean, do you think that we can call fucking Tina? And you know what you would think with all these fucking powers that she would burn some kind of candle and open the fucking thing. She's trying to get motherfuckers locked up. You know? Enough of the bullshit. Enough of the bullshit. Elm City, I see you in there. Look, this is a product of Monkey Mills. This is Monkey Mills who's exploited this man, kicked him when he's down, wished him dead in jail. What kind of behavior is that? You know, does, is there a heart? Is there a heart? Is there a heart in the house tonight? Is there a heart in the house tonight? Stand up. Is there a heart in the house? Is there, is there a heart in the house? That chronic, man. Oh, man. That chronic. Man, I remember that album, man. He's a barbarian, typical chimp gorilla behavior. You know what? Why don't, it's one thing to call him out, Elm City, but it's another thing to actually be the bigger and better person. Black Rampage donates $50 to the cause. I don't care if I have to stay here all night long. We're going to help RPJ. We're going to work it out. <clears throat> uh, we're going to get it together. Man. You appreciate it. You know how many people are bullshitting and not returning checks? You'd rather go over there, you know, and hear about fuckery and hear about bullshit. You know, it's time to turn this shit around. I can't fix this shit. I can't stop you niggas from trying to kill each other. I can't stop you. Well, I can't stop one of you niggas from trying to cut my fucking head off. That's what the Christians are doing. 
Look, let's judge people by their works. So the people that are trying to cut people's heads off and give them Colombian neckties, the fucking savages to do that shit. Uh, it's time to rebuke those people. They are wolves in sheep clothing. The people that want to stomp people's ears together and break women's jaws and make death threats that were raised by Christians. You wolf in sheep's clothing. I'm calling you out. Eva, Sister Eva, welcome to the show. Eva, we're trying to free our brother RPJ. I don't care how anybody feels about him. Uh, I don't. I don't care how anybody feels about him, whether you like him or not. What if it were you in this position? I'm going to pull you guys together. I can't guarantee that. But what we can do is that I, I can't promise that. Um, but, you know, any bit will help. $10, $20. I'm not even set up to receive any of your money. Um, I found a black bondsman that said, and I have to still work out the details of this. That said, he'll take three hundred and fifty dollars, and the signature of a Florida resident. These bitches are wicked, Eva. We're gonna fight back this witnesses with some good, and Brother Beasley's gonna do it. Brother Beasley's gonna do it. You know they besmirch my name, but they know not what they do. They know not what they do. I'm here for salvation of RPJ. So I'm here for his salvation. I, I've come here and put myself on the line. You know, I will die for RPJ sins. Nail me to the cross. Nail me to the cross. Nail me to the cross and drink from my blood. Because none of us are greater than the glory of God. Black Jesus Beasley bitch. I'm going down with this. If this is the last thing I do in my life before these evil motherfuckers want to kill me and seal me and 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 castinate me and cast me to swine and burn with fire and brimstone, I say stop. I rebuke you, devil motherfucker. Beasley's gonna stand tall and do the right thing. Why you niggas is making troll accounts and wanting to cut people's head off? I'm going to get RPJ free. Not one of you motherfuckers. Not one of you fire-breathing fucking Christians has spoken up and even mentioned this man's name. This man is suffering. He's down in the belly of the beast. He's suffering. He's suffering. You know what? Maybe he's not worth bail money. Maybe he's not. Are you worth bail money? Are you above? Who are we? Who are we? Man, these bitter black bitches, these ratchet ass white bitches, Spanish bitches, these these male bitches with little with 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 dicks that are just flaps to cover up their fucking pussy. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna uh, free RPJ. We gonna free RPJ today, man. We gonna do the right thing, man. We gonna feel good, and this is not no bullshit. I'm putting some jokes on that, but we gonna feel we gonna free RPJ, and we gonna feel good about helping somebody in this sector for one. And I want to see those, those that commit death threats and people donate money for this behavior. I want to say stop in the name of love before I break your heart. Stop in the name of love before I break your heart. Think it over, yeah. Think it over. Stop in the name of love before you break your heart. Who here hasn't made a mistake? Who here has lived a perfect life? I want the first person without sin to cast the stone at RPJ. I know I'm not a perfect person, but I know that I can stop doing bad, I can stop doing evil, I can stop saying mean things about people and trying to hurt people's feelings. I know that I can do some good because I have it in my heart. I have it in my heart. Six and stones may break my bones, but typed words on the internet will never hurt me. 
And if I have to go and die as a martyr and be chopped into pieces, an old bitch chops my dick off and gives me a Colombian necktie as long as I've freed RPJ and have given my life because you guys learn to get along with each other. Stop! In the name of love. Where are you now? That's all I want to know. Are they willing to donate? Are they? Are they willing to help? Now I'm working it out and I'm putting it together. I got all the information now. <clears throat> it might be better to wait a couple of days because RPJ has a court date on Monday. And I'm not going to leave him hanging out there. Oh, man. I have to hop up out of my chair. I'm going to hop out, out of my chair and see walk on these bitches. Don't make me see walk on you bitches. Don't make me see walk. I'm going to see walk and I'm going to cam up when RPJ is free. And you guys think I'm doing this and putting some jokes on me. That's just my nature. But I'm sincere about bailing this brother out of jail. I'm just trying to put together the bond package. Um, everything that's donated, if we bail him out cash for 1700 and I don't think we can get 1700 out of these niggas if they life depended on it. These motherfuckers would rather cut fucking people's body parts up because they got their fucking feelings hurt off some text. We got to free our black brother RPJ from the clutches of the devil himself. That's what I'm saying. Take him out of the same boat all jail. Hallelujah, Sister Elm. Elm, would you like to come on the panel? I, I would like for you to speak that message. And I can't put it in the chat room because them devil motherfucking trolls will end the show and try to stop our call. Motherfuckers is worried about pets and all kinds of bullshit and exposing people and all the evil shit that goes on. It's time for it to stop. And the buck stops with me. The buck stops with me. Hallelujah. Black Jesus Beasley, bitch. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. Black Jesus Beasley. And my brother, Minister Ed. Bow, wow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Bow, wow, yippee, yo, yippee, yay. Why must I chase the cat? Why must I be like that? Ain't nothing but the dog in me. Dog spell backwards is God. And God himself reached out and touched me. And that's no bullshit. And said, motherfucker, what are you doing with your life? Are you going to sit up here and hurt people's feelings and fight back? Because your pride and your ego is, gonna, is more important? Then doing some damn good, I will strike thee down. I will strike thee down with thunder, with great thunder. I will strike thee down. Let me catch my breath and let me wet my whistle. Serious business here, man. I just want you to imagine if it were you in jail, what would you do? You're gonna come like a thief in the night. And instead of going down south to do some harm, we're gonna do some good. And we're gonna feel good about being good. I'm gonna ask you guys a simple question. Is it better to do evil or is it better to do good? Is it better to do evil? 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 I'm going to lay hands on you. Exactly. I'm going to lay hands on you. And I want to draw the demon and the evilness out of your spirit. Evil, come join me on the panel. Let's do it together, sister. Hand in hand. Let's do some good around here. Let's bail him out of jail. $2,000 will get him out cash. It will pay the, the bondsman fee, but I've got some good news. I found a black bondsman. His name is Duran, and I can tell he was a brother, and I said, Duran. He said, yes, sir. 
I said, are you a soul brother? He said, I said, look, Deron, I know you're a soul brother. I can hear in your voice. Don't let the smooth taste fool you and the good diction fool you. I'm a soul brother too. He said, well, what's going on then, bro? I said, look, bro, white supremacy has reached up and grabbed our brother. I don't care if he's a coon. I don't care if he don't like black bitches. We're going to help him because they don't see him or anything else but what he is. Some of them white cracker devil slave master bondsmen wasn't giving him no play. Wasn't giving him no play. They looked up and saw that D by his race and grazed the price. And I said, well, what about, they said, what about nothing and hung up on me. I know that it's real. They say, how long has he been? Why has he been in jail so long? I said, motherfucker, how am I supposed to know? Because don't nobody love him. Don't nobody love him. But I love him. And I'm going to show him some love. I'm going to show him some love. And I'm going to show him some love. Even if none of you worthless ass shipless fucking black YouTube niggas, even if you scroungy ass motherfuckers like to put people down, you know, and, and you're quick to laugh at a motherfucker, you donate money to people that want to kill motherfuckers, that want to stomp people's heels together, can you reach down into your motherfucking pocket and help free a motherfucker? RPJ ain't no angel, and neither are you. Who are you to judge? Judgment is for the Lord, not for you. Talk all that shit. What we need to do with black people shit. It's time to stop talking and stop taking some action. Jamila, take the spell off this man. You've proven your point. Your witchcraft is superior. You have locked him up. Lord knows you might be playing double agent and locked up. De Niro Red, Jamila, I want you to use your spirits and your powers for good. Open up the gates of violence. Free my brother RPJ. Free my brother RPJ. Free my brother RPJ. Free my brother RPJ. Jamila, let this man go. Your witchcraft is superior. Monty, Monty Wood Grain. You little piece of shit with your 10 motherfucking houses and you're this type of elite plan and you're this plan. Nigga, I need $100 from you to help bail out RPJ. You're supposed to be Mr. Good Guy now. Look, the court takes on Monday. Maybe he'll get a bond reduction hearing. <clears throat> Obviously, he's having a difficult time. How would you feel? I just want to know how you would feel, Eva. How you would feel, Black Cherubim. How you would feel, Gang War Garbage Can, my nigga. Gang War Garbage Can, my nigga. How would you feel if you were in jail and nobody could help you get out of jail? How would you feel if you were like Cliffy Cupcake Rainy, stuck in Cook County Jail with no motherfucking bail, and then Mexican trying to go ahead and set up camp around your motherfucking angle cavity, nigga? How would you feel? Why don't we save his life and help him and free him from free him from bondage? That is not King Weezy Black Caribou. Don't make me discipline you. That is gang war garbage can from West Philadelphia, born and raised. Look, it's time to forgive him. You would donate because he stole your TV. Maybe he stole your TV. You know? Maybe he stole your TV. It's time to forgive and forget. I got a few keys over here. 60 inch, Samsung, the good shit. Of course, RPJ has his mini. Give me enough. Give me enough. It's time to free RPJ. It's time to free RPJ. And it's time to cast his name and kick out some people from this community that we have here. <coughs> and one of them people that we gonna kick out is Tina the Witch. That bitch is doing nothing good for nobody.
That bitch is double cross and triple cross on people. Listen, we don't need your kind around here. You're not doing no good. Monkey Mills, you're evil. You're evil to your core. Me, I just play like I'm mean. I got a heart of gold. What the fuck did you, what the fuck you did before RPJ went to jail? Bitch, speak proper motherfucking English talking to me. Right, listen, ain't none of us perfect. All of us have made mistakes. I mean, Styles is going to go ahead and leave us and go to South by Southwest. There's going to be a bidding war for his rap still. MC Grandpa, MC Crazy, MC Lunatic. You think that nigga would give $50 to help somebody else? That motherfucker smokes $50 worth of fucking weed in front of us every goddamn day before 12 o'clock noon. Yeah, we need some money for our PJ. The total bond amount is $1,700. Some bondsmen want a total cash bail of $1,700 plus a $300 fee. After he completes his court responsibility uh, and his obligation to the court, the seventeen hundred to be returned. Um, so there's a good chance. Um, but I found another way, and the other way is I know someone in his district, but they would be willing. They would have to be willing to sign and be on the hook for RPJ not getting out for not fulfilling it. And if that's the case. You know, perhaps if we have a fundraiser, uh, right? He's definitely part of the problem. He exploited it for views. He exploited it for views. Monkey motherfucker. Look, when I cooked RPJ, because I thought that mother... Here, listen. I want you to listen. Thank you. 
You heard it yourself. Regent Al Jones. He's stuck in the belly of the beast. Fighting that wide devil slave master. You know? He doesn't have the support system that some of you have. He doesn't have a spouse. Uh, anybody can spin out of control and have some problems. I can't say that we didn't see this coming. He can't bail himself out. Um, you know, we got Chris donated $50. The rest of you, I hope that you would find a way uh, to make a new start and put RPG in your heart. And uh, that reminds me of a rhyme that I wrote many years ago, right around the time that the great Biggie Small was murdered in Los Angeles, California, at the corners of Fairfax and Wilson Boulevard. And it goes a little something like this. It's a miracle, miracle, old nigga like me. Rhyming on this track with tight delivery. I have a bin, no warrant, tags of registration. I'm tired of depending on my friends for my means of transportation. So don't plot nigga on the dough that I'm holding. Because I'll be up on my tippy toes, just like Fred Flintstone Bowling. I'm caught in a twist, a moral abyss. Because I'm knowing OJ did it, but I'm glad he got acquitted. I, I, I got more eyes than a side clock. On deck, ready to rumble before the beat drops. Cop, cop, rocks, blasting off, NASA style. A new jack rapping, but I've been doing it for a while. I'm Brown Beasley, ah, with this one eye freestyle. No radio play, but please don't touch that dial. Let me drop the mic. Let me drop the mic. I dare somebody to come up here and stand up here. With me, that nigga put bars with the wheels there. I ain't mad at him. I will hop up out of my chair. I will hop up out of my chair if I can get a donation. If we can get a donation to free the brother, we need about $2,000 to get him out. We need about 2000 to get him out. Or we need about four, 500 And we need somebody in Florida, uh, in the local area around Orlando, uh, in order to sign to get him out. There's a number of ways, but it's going to start with some money. So we have a donation drive. Despite, and I'm trying to give you some com some comedic relief because I don't care how hard, I don't care how hard RPJ gets. We must not forget him in his time of need. Or it could do like Monkeyville that said he would die in jail and laugh. You little short, half pint, hateful motherfucker, you. Or it can do like Madam Blackass, your fake Christian bitch, talking about you don't want nobody to die, but you doing everything to push somebody to die. If you don't want nobody to die, why are you going to try to cut me up into little goddamn pieces, bitch, and give me a Colombian necktie and cut off my goddamn dick, you motherfucking sick motherfucker? Curious? You little short, precious looking bitch. You control. You talk that black empowerment shit and that feminist shit. Bitch, where the fuck are you now when it comes to help a black brother in jail? I haven't heard not one of you motherfuckers. All this shit going on. I haven't seen not one of you motherfuckers. Mention RPJ. You hateful. You despicable pieces of shit. You would rather give money to, you donate motherfuckers money to motherfuckers that want to stop people healed together. Oh, I feel sorry for you. You're great. But here it is. A man like me. A man like Beasley. A man like Beasley. Who's been ridiculed, fascinated, stepped upon, vilified, and cast to the side 
Let he who is without sin please cast the first stone. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Let's read this dude, man. Let's get together. Let's raise this little chump chain and let's do some good around here for one time. One time only. Then we can go back to slinging mud. We can go back to dropping docks. We can go back to wanting to kill each other. We can go back to clowning each other. Your tax money gone. You think it's a joke, huh? Gang war. If you was in jail, I help get you out. I do the same thing for you. And if you niggas don't help, you got Chris to donate 50. I'm going to find a way to do it my damn self. Three RP. You guys have exploited RPJ for views. You've watched him melt down. You've watched him chew Percocet. You guys, you know what? He likes white women. But black women are going to bail him out. You know, he's a self-hating coon. So what? So what? Are you perfect? Have you ever had a viewpoint that didn't agree with everybody else? Have you been unpopular? Does that mean that we should forget about him and let him rot? Come on, let's be for real, man. Have a heart. I just want to say, gang war garbage can, my brother, is there a heart? Is there a heart in the house tonight? Stand up. Is there a heart in the house tonight? Stand up. Is there a heart in the house tonight? Stand up. I want you to reach down into your gap. And I want you to do something strange and pull out some things. For well, RPJ, we're going to free you, brother. We're going to come get you. We're going to set you free. Set you free. I want to be free. We're going to free you, RPJ. We haven't forgotten about you. Beasley hasn't forgotten about you. I might be making some jokes, but I'm seriously making moves to get him out. I am. Yes, I am. You want money from black people for a white loving home? Look, Jane Doe, get off your motherfucking problems and your misconceptions. We're all humans out here. We trying to help people because you don't agree with who he may love. You know what? Is that a reason to not help? <clears throat> you not even you fucking sound right now. Seriously. And he don't love them white hoes. RPJ don't save no white bitch. RPJ slays them white bitch. He took that white bitch money and kicked her motherfucking ass. Exactly. Eva. Man, there goes the train. There goes the train. There goes the train of freedom. Stand up. There goes the freedom train. Uh, the freedom train. I make a joke out of it just to make fun, to try to entertain the crowd. But I'm sincerely going to make the moves and help and, and, and put my effort in to get him out of jail. Oh, man. So he could be with his white lover. Who, what difference does it make in your life, Jane Doe? What difference does it make in your life who he loves, where he sticks his foot, his vagina, his dick? What does it make difference does it make in your life? Oh, you got some hate in you, Jane Doe. Sounds like somebody took your man and took your woman. And because it was of an other ethnicity. Jane Doe, if you, maybe if you wasn't so motherfucking crazy, God respect you. You know, mother had you. Motherfucker. You. But you know, maybe if you was doing your part, your lover wouldn't have left you for a white person to leave you so motherfucking bitter. This ain't got nothing to do with it. RPJ is obviously a black man in America. Suffering from white supremacy. The white devil slave master has his foot on our brother RPJ's neck. All I want to know is you're going to drop it out your motherfucking cock, is you're going to put it in your motherfucking stock, and we're going to free this man. Motherfuckers around here, they quick to call themselves a Christian, 
quick to talk about how they don't want to see nobody killed. Quick to walk the walk. Quick to talk the motherfucking talk. Quick to talk the talk. And real slow to walk the walk. You know what, Jane Doe? Maybe if you were to help him out and help get him out of jail, you'll see the beauty of a black woman. Hold on, Jane Doe. So let me ask you this. Uh, if say you got in jail, Jane Doe, what are we gonna do? We gonna do a we gonna do a whole fast on your pussy bit? You know, I know that's a girl, homegirl even, but I'm trying to make this shit funny. Jane Doe. So hold on a second. If you got stuck in jail, you know, so we gotta re-examine all the motherfucking businesses to your pussy? Huh? We gotta examine, we gotta look at the, the everybody that signed in. And, 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 and knock the bottom out of your motherfucking pussy and tell me whether we get you out? No, nah, bitch. We gonna get you out. And you can fuck who you wanna fuck. That is real. She's getting on my nerves with that shit like there's some conditions. RPJ is not a perfect man, but neither am I. But I know he'd much rather be here, you know, sitting here in the chair, uh, getting ready to watch Real Housewives of Atlanta that comes on in, in about uh, comes on in an hour, the new episode, then he would rather be in jail, you know, braiding hair or whatever the fuck he's doing. You know, I hope he's not in there washing draws. You know, I hope he's in there, you know, not trying to make it rock, you know, while he's got a throat full of somebody's cop. I hope not. Let a crowbar, some boat cutters, and some white grip. Hey, that's a possibility too. It'd be easier to come up with the money. It'd be much easier to come to my life. I haven't even set up a platform or an area to collect any money. Um, in fact, everybody, we got 16 whole people watching. If you'd rather watch, you know, fuck me with what this channel, with this thing's about. And um, anybody that can donate something, just put the amount that you can donate in the chat room. And the minimum is $10. That's the least you can do. But I'd like to see some 20, some 50, some 100. For the 75 and pledge it. I'm going to put the money up and then I'm going to come with you to come collect it uh, and find a way to collect it. Or I don't have a $2,000 balance that's free on my credit card. We, you know, maybe we need somebody rich like Marky Munchkin. We're well, off to see the wizard. Uh, you know, you talk about how rich you are, you do some good for a change. You know, do some good. You know, talk to talk. You gotta walk the walk. Stand up. I just think it's doing the right thing. Let me ask you this, Eva. Is it better to do help someone and do some good than it is to harm someone? And that's a stupid question. We spend so much time trying to hurt people's feelings, besmirch them, and make them feel low. Isn't it about time that we try to balance it off and do some good? I know it's time for me to do some good. And I'm going to lead the way. I'm going to lead by example. I'm sincere about getting them out. If you guys can help out, that's cool. Uh, I'm talking shit and making jokes just because that's my nature. But uh, we, we should get RPJ out of jail. We really should. It's the right thing to do. Now, you guys can inbox me with the amount that you'd like to donate. Um, you can email me at B A L. E I C L A D one one. That's B A L C I C L A D one one at Gmail. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Eva. We're gonna get him out of jail. He got a court date on Monday. Um, as I told you, there's a few different ways to work. I talked with three different. I'm gonna go with the black bondsman. If the black bondsman fucks us up, you that would be some shit. That would be some shit. But I sincerely want to get him out of jail. It's the right thing to do. Think of, think of, think of RPJ's puppet. Think of his puppet. Think of how he misses us. Jamila, you hold the key to his freedom in your hand. The spell that you put on him two years ago finally has took effect. And look at him. Are you happy? 
Hopefully he'll be out by Tuesday. He's in Florida, man. Florida's fucked up. And all this shit is a money game. But he has a felony. That assault on the police officer with violence is a felony. Maybe he pushed the cop. Maybe he did something. Um, he'll have a hearing. And I'm sure his public defender will argue for a reduction in bail. And if he doesn't get a reduction in bail, or they don't set him free on Monday, then I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get this done. And, 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 I, and I want the glory. I want the glory of Tommy. And I want to rub RPJ on his head. And I want to slap him on his ass. And I want to treat him just like Tommy did Cupcake. And I would hope that RPJ would never turn on me. I think that he has more class than that. I think he has more class than that. Oh, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired of all this bullshit going on. Of all this hate. Of all this anger. All these death threats. And all this, all this racket ass behavior. I don't expect any of the people that really talk about how positive and how good they are and how above the bullshit they are, they'll find some excuse why they can't fucking help. While while they're doing all kinds of evil behind the scenes. It's time for it to stop. Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. Grow the fuck up. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread as we forgive those our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. For thine is the power and the glory forever. Amen. Brown Beasley. Um, despite all the bullshit of the joke, be serious. Let's do some good for a change. Let's get him out. It's going to take a minute in order to put this together. I need help from a brother that's in the Florida area and might be willing to help. I haven't heard back from him yet. But I know that he's a good brother. And hopefully he'll be willing to help. All I wanted to say is just what if it was you that were in jail? What if it were you? I got somebody chiming in. Give you all
testing right now. Recruited money for our brother RPJ. We're going to get him out of jail. I am going to get him out of jail. You know, with you guys or without you guys. I am going to get him out of jail. That's the truth. Now, I'm not in this for any fame. Uh, I'm going to get him out of jail. I want you guys to help out a bit. Um, just because it's the right thing to do. It's the black sector of YouTube, fam. You know, we all we really got. Let's do some good. Hold on, let me call her so much you don't understand. <clears throat> let me call her and let you guys hear it. Hey, T, how you doing? What's going on? I'm calling you, T. I got you on the air. I don't know if they can hear you. You don't have to talk a lot. You don't want to be identified. But what, what don't you understand? Let me give it to you. RPJ has been in jail since February 8th. Everybody has forgot about him. He has a bail of $1,700. He's in the Orange County, Florida jail. Um, I thought today all this fuckery and bullshit, I can't stop it. But, you know, Cupcake did say something that rang true. That, uh, you know, I should be, I'm the oldest one. I should stop the bullshit. I can't stop the bullshit, but I can try to lead by example and do some good. And I know if I were stuck in jail or if you were stuck in jail, then we would want to get out. That's a natural thing. We know that RPJ has some issues. And his bail is 1700 total. It's a cash bail. Uh, the bail bonds are the different ones. Um, one seventeen hundred and three hundred dollars as the fee. I found a black bail bondsman that will get him out for just pay the fee of three hundred dollars and have somebody in the Florida area, the Orlando, Orange County, Florida area, sign for him. So it's better probably to raise the seventeen hundred, the total amount, and they will return it uh, after he completes his uh, court responsibility. And if you look, you know, the video that I put up or the show that I'm doing now. It's the free RPJ show trying to do something positive. Also, I'm calling on Jamila. You know who Jamila is, right? I've heard of her. All right. Well, gentlemen, Jamila put a spell on RPJ to fuck his life up because he was fucking with her. And it took a little while. <clears throat> I guess the witch guys were busy, but they eventually came through for her. Now he's fucked up in the game. And I think it's, be I just think it's better. You know, finally to do some good around here instead of all this evil shit and all hurting people's feelings. And I'm going to lead by example. And I'm just, you know, I know that you're uh, probably a person that probably has some disposable income. And I'm just trying to help them out. I think it's the right thing to do. I know if I were there, I'd want somebody to get him out. And just because he doesn't have any friends or any family that care that much about him, you know, we're the black sector of YouTube. You know, for some of us, that's all we got, Pamela. Let's do the right thing. I'll talk with you further on it. I don't think there'll be any problem for you. And just a little bit, you know, a little bit. You you won't miss it. And we're going to do some good around here. And you'll get mentioned um, when we do the video or the party or whatever we do. We're going to free our today. Sound like a good thing? Sound like a good idea? Yeah. Uh, All right. Well, The sales on YouTube? Sales. You mean actual sales? Yeah, spells. Well, they put a spell on RPJ and they fucked him up. And RPJ, despite being a coon and not thinking he's black, he's still our brother. You know, I'm responsible, according to some, for so much destruction around here. I'm willing to put, you know, I'm putting my time, my effort. I've spent the afternoon researching this out, finding out where he was, what his bail amount. I had people speaking. I have a cousin, Trixie, who's a bail bondsman. She can't write the bond out of California. I can't even put up real property in California, which I was willing to do for $1,700. They won't even let me put up property to get him out. So I'm finding my ways around it. He goes to court on Monday. Maybe they'll let him out. Maybe they'll get the bail reduced. But in the meantime, I want to have the bond pockets written, the band pockets written, the, 
the bond package ready to get him out. He'll be out three to four hours after we get the bail. So snap about it. I know he's good for 25, 50 bucks. Let's get the man out of jail. It's that simple. If you need any other details, I put a video. Pardon me? Good enough. Thank you very much. All right. See, I'm going to get him out of jail. That's, uh, I'll tell you who it was. That's Trisha from the bus stop. Let the bus stop contribute. Let the bus stop contribute. We're going to have the bus stop help. You know, I'm calling on uh, the wood grain team. We might call on, you know, I would call on Brian Vlog, but he don't have no hears, so he can't hear me though. Uh, but let's see the dude. Let's do some, let's do some good around here. You guys know how to inbox me. Uh, you know how to reach me. Uh, just because, All right, good tone, good shit. Yeah, see, see, while, while, while my reputation perceives me, you know, no one is talking, no one is mentioning RPJ since he's been in jail. I'm going to get him out, whether you niggas help or not. But I just want you guys to share in it, uh, because we're a community around here. We're going to act like a community this one time. I'm the elder. And I'm going to daddy talk you and shame you. So all you motherfuckers that want to fucking cut people's necks and give them Colombian neckties and cut off dicks, you evil ass devil motherfuckers, shame on you. You know, shame on you. You need to forgive, you need to repent, forgive yourself and do some damn good for somebody that you need. This brother has nobody to help him. Uh, he has his issues. None of us are perfect. You know, let, let he who is out of sin that's the first song. I'm on some real shit right now. I'm on some, I'm on some black Jesus Beasley shit. Black Jesus Beasley. And if I gotta die, I'm gonna save this dude right here. You know, and when they come to kill me, and when they come to kill me, you know, James, you think you're cute. Have a seat, bitch. No, no, you're not a moderator, bitch. Hold on, you're not a moderator. The move moderator. Jane, you think it's fucking cute and you got a fucking smart mouth. Get your ass over there, goddammit. I'm serious in the motherfucker. Fuck around. Fuck with me, I'm serious. Tone, any little bit of help, 25 bucks. 25 bucks. All right, I can sit it down. He should be able to nod out in the comfort of his own cup. Man, listen. Let's judge, let's not be judged, said the wise man. When the wise man walked the earth 2,000 years ago, you know, not only did he say, let's see, let see who is without sin cast the first stone, they also teach, you know, when you're too busy looking at the speck in someone else's eye, when you have a whole being in yours. Is he not worthy of forgiveness? Does he not deserve a second chance? <coughs> Are we going to be so callous and cold and mean-spirited all the time that we're going to contribute money to people to promote the fuckery that we all love and like while there's people that can't equip and deal with it that are suffering suffering from this shit mentally you know we laugh when people scream and cry and we torture them or they're tortured or they're hurt you know we we laugh that's what we like to do around here this is a fucking cesspool right 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 you come back you know how to reach me you know how to reach me i'm not going to put my email address right here We'll get the dude out, man. This is only some chump change. Okay, hold on, hold on. My my bad. Before I go, before Cupcake comes out here and stomps my ear together and breaks my jaw and beats me within the inch of my life, I'm gonna do some good before I go. You know? Before I get my throat slit from ear to ear in a Colombian necktie before I get chopped up in pieces, before someone wants to, before some deranged woman 
the cat that is obsessed with my dick wants to cut my dick off, I'm going to do some good around here. You know, we judge people by their work. Talk is cheap. Anybody can call themselves a Christian or a good person, or they have to remind you of their virtue. Who is I here talking about that reminding you of their virtue? You know, if somebody were to come up to you in the street and tell you, you know, I'm a really good person, I'm honest, I'm trustworthy, you can trust me with your wallet right now. You can trust me with your wife. I'm a good person. I'm a Christian or I'm Jewish and I'm a good person and you can trust me. Would you trust that person? No. We judge people by their work, not by their word. You know, you shouldn't have to convince anybody that you've got a good spirit about yourself and, that, and there's nothing better. Nothing better, nothing makes you feel better than helping somebody. Nothing makes you feel better. You know, I'm, I'm going to close this out, man. I'm going to tell something to think about. And I did it in a gestural manner, but I expect to hear from some of y'all. And uh, I expect to hear from some of y'all because we're going to bail RPJ out. Baltic Lad 11, or you can email me here at servebeasley.com. Spread the word. I'd like to get Tommy on the phone. And I just like him to help a little bit. Not a lot of it. He doesn't have to do the whole thing. Uh, you know, people are slow to call me back, but uh, we're going to get this done. All right. Done my part. Now it's up to you guys to do yours. Get him out. Been in there a month. It's just fucked up. All right. <clears throat> Anybody got anything to say before I close this out? Oh. All right. I'm about to close the show out unless anybody got something to say. How many people have you done this for? In my real life, Jane Doe, any of my friends and family going to jail, I'm putting this shit together. You know? Any of my friends and family go to jail, I'm going to help them quickly. I'm going to make the efforts. I'll be the point person. I raise the money. I got a cousin, Trixie, who's a bail bond. I'm going to find motherfucking ass. She's the one that reached out and did the work. We had other people here, YouTubers. They did the research, they put it all together, and they left it in my hand. Now, I was unfortunate that I overslept, uh, or that I took a nap. I get up so early that I took a nap, but uh, I'm not going to drop the ball on this. And maybe we'll work out a way that we can send the money directly. I don't have to touch it. Uh, we can send the money directly to the bail bonds. I found a black bail bondsman. Now you unmute me. I didn't unmute you, but you're getting a little bit too too cute, uh, Jane. It's a little bit too cute. And this is a serious matter. I'm the only one that's allowed to joke about it, okay? I'm the only one that's allowed to joke about it, uh, not you. And, you know, I, I don't know why you're concerned where RPJ's dick was being. I really don't know why you're concerned where RPJ's dick was in. I tell you what, Jay, if you pull some money out of your pussy, yeah, I'm a hypocrite. Yeah, where are you? I'm a hypocrite. You're a smart mouth bitch is what you are, Jay. You know what, Eva, your friend, is being obstinate. And she's going to learn to act right. At least around here, get some act right, bitch. Bye, bitch. That ain't no hate, Eva. She's, 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 she's trying me when I got the, when I got the power. I got the power and I'm going to use the power. Other than that, fuck YouTube fuckery. Fuck all the bullshit that's going on. There's a lot of acrimony. You got people that are wolves in cheap clothing. I decided to do some good. And just even I get this thing started, because wasn't nobody gang war garbage head. Was anybody even mentioning RPJ? He ain't even a fucking thought, huh? No one ain't said shit. Let him be in jail. This ain't the Nero Red. RPJ's one of us. Black sector. Black sector of YouTube. We all we got, ammo. I know Mr. Mitty's going to contribute. 
We all we got, Thamo. We all we got. Gang war. Even if it is tight, I know I can get ten, twenty dollars out the motherfucking ass, man. Come on. Just put the your little your little your little vape tobacco thing, just take one less cartridge or something. Whatever it is, don't get coffee out. You could afford ten, twenty dollars to help get RPJ out. And all of you will be recognized for your contribution. I ain't trolling no more. I might talk some shit. I don't have no troll name. It's bullshit. I've been there and done all that as far as trolling goes. You know, now you got everybody to think of that shit's cute. I was born a troll. You motherfuckers want to be a troll. It's time for me to make a change. Make a change. Make it a better place. Come on, man. Let's do the right thing, man. Let's do the right thing. Think about if you were in there. Think I'm overselling it now. I expect to hear you guys. I put the email out there. Uh, I'm going to drop a phone number in the chat. Welcome to call, and we'll find a way to take a donation and uh, give you a little minute to put it together. Uh, let's help this man out. Let's do the right thing around here. For once, let's do the right thing. All right? Thanks, Eva. And I'm gonna ban your friend. She was just being cute like this is a damn joke. Because her motherfucking ass is not in jail. You know, let's have some little bit of respect. Trying to do some good around here. Peace out.